Oh, Wet Willy! Hey everybody, I'm early to the flea market. It's like 9.30. Uh, I got here right as Aaron pulled up. Say hello, Aaron. Hello. There you go. And Mario. Yoshi's Island, to be precise. Yeah. Uh, so the first thing that I hear getting out of the car is his uh, gamepad for his Wii U, the Zelda one. Yeah. Left it on the freaking hood of the car and it flew off and landed on the ground. The box it was in broke that was you saw last week. The box is broken a bunch of pieces. It's all scratched up. No, it's not scratched up. <laughs> Good job there. Smooth. So I think we're gonna go walk around a little bit. I don't know. I don't know who's who's gonna go walk around, but somebody will. Magna! Wait, say that. Say what you just said again. He wore that shirt yesterday. And it he like called you out. So this is the walk around crew, I guess. We're gonna go out to the Mustang. Magnum on his magical razor scooter. Got another one. What? You got another scooter? For what? For bouncy balls? No, bouncy wheels. <laughs> bouncy whales. Okay. Yeah, like Kenny, Kenny. Got some rock magazines. <laughs> we got the bench and fold. Uh, hey, there's the corn cover. That's I love that cover. That was pretty damn funny. For uh, those that don't know, my uh, like main career job for the past many years uh, has been working for corn. Um, most of you should know that by now if you're watching this, but Magnum apparently thought I was in the band. He's like, I don't see you on the cover. <laughs> Atari games. So far that's really all we found that's even remotely interesting. And that thing, gross. Josh spotted a few games. Nothing uh, spectacular. What is that, an Aussie box set? Yeah, that might actually work. I walked up to some video games and I totally missed the oh. fact that... <laughs> <laughs> He's here. <laughs> I don't think he knew I was here either. I but didn't I, either. I did find a copy of Duke Nukem Time to Kill that I might pick up. Good, man. Joey's picking up the other one. That's actually that I think is the one I actually need. I actually might already have this, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a very nice box of boxed NES games: River City Ransom, Dragon oh, Warrior. Please, no, no. So I just spent two hundred and sixty dollars on a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I'm going to the ATM right now. So yeah, here's just a little glimpse at what I just got for 260 bucks. Quite a few boxed games, actually really nice condition on a lot of them, except for this one game in particular, Pro Wrestling, unfortunately, boo. Uh, there's also more stuff in here, but I'm not going to bring any of that stuff in because I haven't gone through it. Some of it I want for my collection and they're like piranhas in there, so I don't trust having it in there. But yeah, that was quite a good pickup, a surprise oh. pickup. Now that I'm at home, away from all the crazies at the flea market, I can show you what I got. Uh, all the titles on this shelf I am keeping for my collection. And then everything in these boxes I either already have or I just wasn't interested in keeping. Um, all the box games came out to be less than $10 a piece. And then these loose cart games end up just being basically free. Uh, you can see there's some doubles in there and there's like a, an extra copy of Ghosts and Goblins. Uh, and then obviously the complete and box copy. So the stuff that I'm not keeping is not for sale online at this moment, so don't worry about asking. I will be doing a sale and trade video after the crazy Thanksgiving weekend, so keep an eye out for that. That stink face from Magnum means that I asked him if he could just watch my stuff as I unload it. I'll give you a dollar. You'll get a whole dollar. I'm not Katie. You're not, you're not Katie. Sorry, I know. That's why I'm giving you a dollar. I don't give her anything. Walkie talkie uh, knife man just walked up. He wants to trade some stuff. I don't know if he has an knife on him. Kenneth, Crazy K, be careful. He brought a fat PS2, but he wants 25 for it, and Aaron only really pays 20. And now he's yelling at Aaron. So Aaron, for uh, $22, you got fat PS2 and some controllers after he was literally threatened at knife point to get it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look what it is. It's uh, that iPad I had a couple weeks ago or last week or whatever. So far, now it's Aaron in Aaron's possession, but it was Kenneth's. And then where did it go after that, Crazy K? Kenny gave me 120 bucks. 120 bucks from Kenny from down there. So that means and Kenny then 120 <laughs> and then Aaron got it from Kenny. So it's been uh, manhandled around the market like everything. Just like Josh. Josh gets manhandled around the market. What? What are you playing, Magnum? I'm playing Mario. Playing the new Mario? Yeah. 
cool. A stack of things just came to the booth for sale. Aaron's contemplating if he wants to buy them. They're wondering why I'm filming right now. I look weird. <laughs> but uh, they basically want some 90 for everything. And Aaron offered 60. <laughs> Aaron's like, is Zumba good? <laughs> so out of that whole box of just random kind of junky stuff, they traded for a chat pad. You, you gave him Bejeweled 3 on the PS3. Yeah. I it's a crap game. <laughs> and then he bought from another customer, he actually went to the person's car, uh, he bought a DS Lite, a PSP 1000, some games, a couple of memory cards for the PSP. For how much? Uh, 25. I think that's a pretty damn good deal. Scott. We sell like that maybe around $30 and that for around like you 30, 30 yeah. so Good deal. Scott. Since we're almost to Thanksgiving and every store does a sale for Black Friday, uh, I'm going to try to discount as much of the stuff I can, like $5 off of DS Lite, stuff like that. If it's like a really cheap game, then there's really not much I can do, but so far it's been pretty damn slow, so there's really not much I have to discount. <laughs> for 23 bucks, I just sold a Red and Black uh, Resident Evil Edition Xbox 360 controller. Normally I was asking 25 so I gave a couple dollar discount. Aaron's decided to forego uh, selling stuff today, and he's just gonna play Mario. It's a good, good idea. Are you winning at least? I was. You were until I pointed out that chick with the nice butt, and then you lost. Another uh, Thanksgiving week sale. Uh, Super Mario 64 on the DS. You're doing it for 13 bucks to a happy little kid. <laughs> The little kid was cute. Uh, he had to count out how much change I owed him on his hand. It was pretty funny. Right now, uh, me and Big Kenny. Oh, I didn't. Oh, your face ain't in there. I'm good. Anyways. I'm on a run. Uh, <laughs> I am possibly going to do a trade for a complete inbox 3DS um, for Ogre Battle on the Super Nintendo and like 20 bucks. But we're trying to trying to nail that final nail into the coffin to get this done. The deal is done. 3DS is in Big Kenny's hands. Ogre Battle is in mine. I'm happy. See? Smiling. I forgot to say that uh, I ganked him. They always say that out here. I've never said it, I don't think, so. Yeah, I ganked him. All right. It's official, guys. Check it out. Grand opening on Black Friday of uh, Video Game Wizard. He got all the licenses and stuff he yep. needed. So, he's an official man. Yay. So this past week, I passed uh, 10,000 subscribers on my channel. I shouted it out on Facebook and stuff, but I figured now that a good idea for the contest would be something simple, and instead of doing a contest video, I'll just announce it now because more people would probably watch this than a contest video. So, for the 10,000 subscriber contest, I'm gonna give out a $50 gift card and basically all you got to do is leave a comment in this on this video down below and give it a thumbs up and be subscribed that's all you got to do so the comment can be about whatever you want it can be congratulations it could be uh aaron is wearing a really tight t-shirt no matter what just <laughs> his girlfriend like that so yeah just leave a comment down below thumbs up and subscribe and you're entered into my 10,000 subscriber contest damn it scott you forgot to mention that the contest ends tuesday december 3rd at midnight it gives just about a week for it to run every one will be entered one time if you follow all three steps and the winner will be selected randomly so it makes it fair for everyone now back to the flea market big kenny just did another trade contra 4 and a card only of uh, new suit mario bros i'm getting the uh, castlevania portrait of ruin and sonic generations on the 3ds yeah photobomb <laughs> Aaron's mom is uh, yelling at us, mainly yelling at Aaron not to buy anything else. And the people at the booth next to us sell it half over there. They just think we're hilarious and laughing their asses off at us. The uh, mole did me a favor. Uh, I gave him three bucks and asked him if he could go get Front Mission 3 resurfaced. Hey, There's up, actually bro? a guy out here who uh, has a resurfacing machine and we never knew that. Yeah, so uh, I'm probably going to use that now frequently. Maybe maybe he'll even be interested in doing like some trades. Just like, hey, resurface this stack of games. But this one's for my collection. Um, I've had it for a couple weeks and the disc just didn't look that good. It had been resurfaced, but you could see it was. And that guy's machine out here is, is way better and he knows what he's doing. Um, but yeah, so thank you, Mole. Oh, yeah. What are you looking at, Oddworld? But anyway, yeah. what's up? That's cool. Hey, give your, uh, now that I remember, give your shout out. Oh, yeah, um, my game plays, uh, the, viewer, the viewers are going to be able to choose the first game I get to play. There, I set up a list on my uh, YouTube, and you guys will also be uh, voting for also for if you want commentary or camera or whatnot. Alright, so, 
Um, last week in the description of that video, I left the link to his channel. I'll go ahead and again and put it in the uh, description of this one as well. Um, so go check out his channel if you haven't subscribed and he's going to be doing gameplays. Uh, but now he wants you guys to vote for what gameplay that you want to see. So go do that for Mr. Mole. It's a sale. It's not a huge sale, but uh, for three bucks, I sold an HDMI cable. Right, Aaron made a sale. He just sold a PS1 memory card for two bucks. Big, big spending today. <laughs> I grabbed Josh, myself. Josh just runs up with a box Nintendo, uh, some random stuff in here like Wii Sports, uh, oh. <laughs> Mario Show, oh, Metroid, yeah. and for what? Oh, a little case for Nintendo games. And he, you did what? What did you give for it? The I gave him Sealed Wind Waker. Isn't sealed that? Wind Waker. That's a good deal. I don't it? know. I think you might have got a little ganked, just a little bit. For a 22 complete GameCube with a memory card, and then for 15 bucks, copy of Mario Kart Double Dash. I was thinking of a good comment that you guys could leave this week. Like, I always ask you a question, um, and this would obviously count for the contest entry as well. Uh, we just had PS4 come out and Xbox One, but I was thinking if you could have one system, one an older system that's not being made anymore, if they could just bring it back and start making like new games for it for that system, what would it be? For me, it's still out, you retard. Josh has Wii U. Um, I would say either the original PlayStation or the Super Nintendo. They both had a ton of amazing RPGs. Um, they also, the, the original PlayStation had quite a few really cool, like, shoot 'em ups on it, so that's my choices. Aaron, which one, what would you choose for a system that they're not making anymore to bring back? That's obvious, Super Nintendo. Yeah, there's just, there's just too many great games. And you know, the thing with me is I love that graphic style. You could still make games today. In fact, there are still games being made today for like digital download that are in that art style and that, you know, uh, quality, so. I would love it if they would make more physical games like that and not download. But yeah, I want to know from you guys down below. Um, and like I said, it could be the uh, contest entry. Oh my God, he has a gun! No! Oh, don't, oh he just killed me. Where did you? Where did you get the freaking gun from? I checked you for giving me a dollar. You went and bought a gun. I gave him a buck for watching the booth, and he went and bought a gun with it. And now he's gonna kill. Okay, child suicide. Another small sale, but hey, it counts. Uh, for eight dollars. Wario Land 2 and which Mario? Oh, just Super Mario Land. Aaron was gonna buy the Wario Woo! if the kid didn't buy it, so you're lucky you got it. <laughs> I'm just gonna sell games from up here today. Hey, what do you guys want? How you guys doing? What are you looking for? All right, I guess that's okay. We're just looking around. Uh, Qbert and his brother are playing some. Actually, Qbert, say hi. Hi, what's up? No, it's not buy yet, idiot. Crazy K, you picked up earlier this week, actually yesterday, at a pawn shop. What did you get? Tell us. I don't know. You tell me. Uh, I think it starts with Super. Super Nintendo with 13 games. What was the best game? X2, baby. Yeah, yo. Yeah, he got for how much was it? 40 bucks for everything. $40 with X2. I guess, technically, we both had really good Super Nintendo weeks. I got that box Super Nintendo. I got, like, Secret of Mana. Hold it up. For uh, four dollars, I just sold a copy of Devil May Cry 4. Fun hack and slash. Enjoy. Josh and myself just completed a trade. Uh, I'm gonna pick up the really nice condition copy of Dash and Desperados. I don't own it. Um, like I said, very very good condition. He's getting Animaniacs, Tetris, Deuce, not Deuce, Deuce. Uh, Pac-Man, Tension copy of Pac-Man, Tension copy of Gauntlet. Uh, keep them coming, there's more. Akari Warriors Deuce, again. No, I did not give him a box Maniac Mansion. And then we have a copy of Warrior Woods. So all of that for Dash and Desperados. Thanks, now, and the Beatles, yeah. So a box Odyssey just comes to the booth. And uh, oh, open it back up. It has some stuff inside. A few box games, looks in pretty good shape. Shiny and fancy, Aaron has no money. <laughs> so see that smile that's a that's an ocarina of time smile for 20 bucks they they pitched in all together basically <laughs> to buy that from josh actually turn around yeah <laughs> anyways congratulations thank you <laughs> so aaron bought the odyssey for how much how much did you actually pay the guy for 30 dollars cash and then josh wanted it so he gave you 20 cash and this and black ops 2 mcfarland evil prophecy ratchet and clank and manhunt 
it's a pretty decent deal. Like I said, there's a few box games in there as well. We got some issues, you hear me? Okay. If you don't have KC here that we so we can chill and reminisce, I will hurt you physically, <laughs> and mentally, and emotionally, and I will force you to get some corporate. What's that? What did I just sell? No! Yes. Kingdom Hearts recoded 10 bucks. I just sold a Halo 4 for $8. And Aaron sold a copy of Darksiders 2 on the 360 for $15. This has been sort of a depressingly slow day out here for it being so close to Black Friday. Maybe people obviously are just waiting for the sales and hopefully maybe next weekend uh, after Black Friday people will be out here looking to buy more. But in general today it's been pretty slow. For, for, or for $50, that's not all they're getting. <laughs> they got a controller, two games, one's Donkey Kong, and then the box in 64 system. I have had, <laughs> motherfucker, I'm gonna kill him. Uh, I've had four different people come up today while looking at the games, asking how much for the movies, or do you have movies? <laughs> It's like I can kind of understand like the PS2 oh, games, they're they like they're in the same kind of case, but they're looking at like 360 and Wii games. I'm like, do they look like any movies you've ever seen? Big Kenny, this is the most you've ever been in an episode, I think. Oh gosh. <laughs> He's uh, buying Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Gates to Infinity for 15 bucks on the 3DS. So what did you just buy? Nintendo 64, Mitten Edition. This one right here. Edition. Limited. Best on the market. Yes, yes. Got it straight out of Guatemala, <laughs> made by little Somalian children with little tiny chicken fingers. No bathroom breaks or air conditioning and two dollars an hour room peanuts. Yeah, buddy! Woo! I couldn't have said it better myself, so. But yeah, uh, complete in 64 for 25 bucks. Thank you. <laughs> you're very welcome. Oh, oh, I just caught that. Nope, you're not. <laughs> Kidditha accidentally almost knocked the Odyssey on the floor. My fucking I know. Uh, what did you just sell, Josh? Yeah, say it on camera. You don't, you don't give a Dead keep... Space 2 and a half. Yeah, right. Dead Space 3. 15 bucks he just sold that for. So there you go, Aaron. Make sure you get your 15 bucks out of his pocket. All right, in this uh, fabulous Game Grumps t shirt, you think it's funny. Uh, what'd you buy? I bought a charger with three prongs, one for the SP. For five bucks, and then you guys got <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> Look at those faces. All ready for YouTube. Be prepared for about 5,000 people to see that face right there. <laughs> Have fun. What? Josh always buys the uh, limited edition Zelda stuff, and then he like yes, trades it for iPads and crap. I didn't trade nothing for that. <laughs> Yeah, his, he always trades to Kenneth. No, Kenneth ganks him. Kenneth his mom laughs at Kenneth, and then Kenneth punches Josh in the butt, whatever they do. Just did two sales at one time uh, for 37 the complete Game Boy Advance player for the GameCube and a copy of Metroid Fusion. And then for 125 a bag full of Pokemon. It's like seven Pokemons for the DS, including a Heart Gold and a Soul Silver. There's the money. Awesome. I think it's the last sale of the day. I met up with this dude like a week ago, two weeks ago. He wanted to buy a Vita. We couldn't meet up, so he finally got out here. Uh, 120 for a Vita memory card and a new charger. His scooter died. Is that what happened? Yeah. He made it. That's all that matters. So. Thank you. For 30 bucks, these ladies are very excited. So excited. <laughs> I got the Yoshi Island too. Yeah, Yoshi's yeah. Island. And what did you get? <laughs> Um, I got Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat, I'm gonna kick oh, my. Yeah. This is We're Jack. opening a store. She's gonna kick some ass. And they're opening a store. All right. Oh my gosh, everybody yes. needs to come here. We Aaron's got the store. original Mario with four <laughs> levels. They bought Mario All Stars like a while ago. Mario R four you know, games. Four and one. You know, we Actually, got it was five games. Yeah, and we got the Lost a World super good deal. How'd you know I've seen it on eBay for like 120 bucks. You know that, right? Well, thank you, ladies. You're welcome. For the highlight of our day. Thank you, Aaron, the video game store wizard. Well, that last sale with those uh, fabulous young ladies was pretty good. Aaron was very excited to see them again. There was a long time ago, she was trying to tell the story. They bought a copy of All Stars with Mario World, and Aaron was like, ah, I just got it. He really wasn't like looking to sell it for cheap. And she's like, I'll give you 40 bucks for it. And he's like, uh, Yeah, it's like, okay. So she walked up today and like handed him money. He's like, here you go, take it. So I guess this is it. This is the end of the day. Uh, I'll say bye. I'll try to get them to say bye. They always hate it. Oh, wait. Laurel says bye. bye. Say bye, all you guys. Bye. bye. All right. Don't forget to enter the contest. Comment, thumbs up, subscribe. Peace.